I was surprised to discover a curious detail about the Tesla Model 2. There's a 0.9 meter gap in the car's chassis. At first glance, this seems like a design flaw, something that would raise questions about structural safety and durability. But the truth is, this gap isn't a mistake. It's a strategic choice. Elon Musk himself has publicly confirmed this feature, making it clear that it's not speculation. And then the inevitable question arises. Why would a new generation electric car have nearly a meter of space in the middle of its structure? To understand this, we need to look back at how cars have always been manufactured. For decades, the industry relied on hundreds of pressed metal sheets, joined by thousands of spot welds. In a traditional sedan, for example, the chassis can have around 400 different parts connected by up to 1,600 welds. It seems robust, but each spot weld is also a point of vulnerability. In a collision, these points multiply the risk of failure. It's like building a castle with glued pieces. Every seam is a chance for it to come apart. What Tesla did was turn this model on its head. Instead of hundreds of small parts joined by welding, the company began using so-called mega foundries, or mega castings. These are giant aluminum pieces molded in presses weighing up to 9,000 tons, replacing much of the welding process with entire single-piece structures. This technique had already been applied to the front and rear of other models. But with the Model 2, Tesla went even further. And that's where that 0.9 meter gap comes in. This gap is located exactly between the two large aluminum pieces, the front and the rear. But instead of filling it with welds or small metal connections, Tesla uses the battery pack itself as a structural link. In other words, the gap isn't empty. It's the integration point where the battery pack acts as an ultra-rigid beam connecting the two parts and distributing forces much more efficiently than any weld could. The logic behind this is simple and powerful. Reduce weight, increase rigidity, and simultaneously cut production costs. After all, fusing two giant parts takes minutes, while welding 1,600 points can take hours, requiring more labor and increasing the chance of error. This savings in time and resources is one of the keys that could allow the Model 2 to reach the market with a price tag under $25,000. But if the idea is so advanced, why so much controversy? The answer lies in perception. For those accustomed to continuous structures filled with reinforcements, seeing a physical space between two sections sounds fragile. Images of this gap began circulating on social media, accompanied by alarmist comments, some suggesting the car could split in half in the event of a collision. Some even called the Model 2 a stitched car. Elon Musk, however, was adamant. This isn't sewing. It's integration. Every detail of this joint was designed to withstand stresses that would destroy a conventional vehicle. The choice of mega castings it was not just made to impress with cutting-edge technology, but to solve problems that many people didn't even know existed. Each weld, besides being a weak point, costs time and money. The welding process alone can add up to $1,000 to the final cost of a car produced the traditional way. In other words, in the end, it's the consumer who pays for an outdated technique. Tesla realized that to offer a truly affordable electric car, it needed to reinvent the assembly line. And the beauty of this revolution lies in the brutal simplicity of the idea, reducing hundreds of parts to just two or three. This eliminates weak points, speeds up production by up to 30 times, and ensures perfect fit with less chance of human error. Besides efficiency, this approach reduces weight in the case of the Model 2. 27% less weight in the lower chassis. The result, better performance, longer battery life, less brake and suspension wear, and in emergency situations, greater safety as less mass is displaced during braking or collisions. This combination of factors has made possible something that, until recently, seemed unthinkable. A Tesla under $25,000. And the most impressive thing is that this isn't just marketing. It's engineering applied to radically change the game in the automotive industry. When I started analyzing the numbers behind this change, I realized they leave no room for doubt. The logic is simple. Eliminate everything superfluous or inefficient in the manufacturing process. By cutting hundreds of small parts and thousands of welding points, labor, material, and rework costs drop dramatically. And the lower the costs inside the factory, the more affordable the car becomes for the consumer. This turning point creates a new standard for the automotive industry. Traditional automakers, accustomed to tight margins and outdated methods, now have to closely monitor something that previously seemed like just a futuristic experiment by Tesla. 
mega casting. It's gone from being an eccentricity to becoming a trend. In fact, there are rumors that other brands are trying to copy the technique, even without yet having the technology or infrastructure to do so. And when we talk about the Model 2's famous 0.9 meter gap, we're not just talking about the physical connection between parts. It's also the symbol of a new philosophy. It's at this point that the front and rear castings meet, forming the car's structural floor. This connection was designed to withstand forces that would destroy a conventional chassis full of welds. Instead of hundreds of fragile connections, there are just three main points, reinforced and designed to be extremely durable. Fewer points, more power, more control. This is the essence of change. The decision to use the battery as a structural element may sound bold, but every detail was calculated, optimized, and tested at every stage. Tesla didn't just redesign the car. It redesigned the logic of automotive construction itself. Every gram saved, every second saved on the assembly line, and even every screw that didn't need to be used directly impact the final product. And we can already see these effects today. In the surprising price, the impressive performance, and the simplicity of the design, which conceals some of the most ambitious engineering in the industry's recent history. If before the market was moving slowly toward the electric future with the Model 2, it's racing, and racing faster than ever, because the goal is not just to electrify cars, but to make them viable, affordable, and safe enough for anyone to own one. And it all begins precisely in that 0.9 meter gap that caused so much controversy. It's physical proof that cutting out the excess doesn't mean sacrificing safety. On the contrary, it's often in the void that true strength lies. The key difference in this design lies in the way the three components, front, rear, and battery, come together to form the Model 2's structural heart. And here, Tesla has made a definitive break with the past. Forget about welds. Instead, the company has opted for structural adhesives from the aerospace industry, the same ones used to hold airplane fuselages together at 10,000 meters. Yes, the same material that supports entire aircraft is now in the chassis of a $25,000 car. And it doesn't stop there. Each joint is further reinforced with ultra-high strength bolts capable of withstanding up to 1,200 MP, compressing the parts with a force equivalent to 30,000 pounds. It's as if two blocks of aluminum were crushed together until they become virtually inseparable. The contact area reaches 2.7 square meters, compared to the measly linear millimeters provided by a traditional weld. This means that instead of weak points that withstand impacts in isolation, Tesla created a uniform connection capable of distributing forces much more efficiently. And we're not just talking theory. Testing has already proven the results. The new Model 2 chassis achieved 30% greater torsional rigidity compared to the Model 3, with 20% less structural weight. When I started studying the Tesla Model 2's new chassis, I realized the numbers speak for themselves. The car gained much greater torsional rigidity, something that makes all the difference in fast corners or side impacts. At the same time, the weight reduction brought direct benefits, longer battery life, greater stability, and less mass shifting during sudden maneuvers. The steering wheel, in fact, conveys a different sensation, more firmness, more precision, as if the car were a single unit even though it's modularly assembled. This extra rigidity has another crucial impact, safety in severe crashes. The idea isn't just to prevent deformation, but to ensure the cabin remains intact. And testing has shown just that. The Model 2 can absorb up to 25% more energy than the Model 3 in a crash, while cabin intrusion, when the structure invades the occupant's space, was reduced by 15%. In other words, it's not just an evolution, it's a redefinition of what we expect in passenger protection. Another interesting detail is how all this was achieved with fewer parts. The new chassis weighs about 180 kilograms, compared to 225 kilograms for the previous steel version. This 45 kilogram difference may seem small, but in an electric car, every kilogram counts. This means less inertial load during cornering, less tire and brake wear, and of course, lighter and more efficient handling. And best of all, it increases range without the need for a larger and more expensive battery. And that's where everything starts to fall into place. Weight, cost, time, and safety are directly linked in this new design. While in a traditional factory, the stamping and welding process takes up to six hours, requiring constant inspections, at Tesla, each section can be cast in just 10 minutes. 
When combined with simplified assembly and less need for corrections, productivity jumps to an impressive level, 36 times higher. This shift in scale completely transforms the game for mainstream electric cars. Something that until recently was only possible in luxury vehicles is now reaching the affordable segment, and this efficiency is reflected in the market. While competitors still struggle to offer electric vehicles under $30,000, Tesla is already projecting profits in $25,000 models, delivering a lighter, safer, and structurally superior car. It all revolves around a bold choice, creating a chassis with just three main connection points and a 0.9 meter gap between them. This gap, which seems strange at first glance, turns into one of the strongest joints ever applied to a civilian production car. While many are still trying to understand how this solution is possible, Tesla has already implemented it in full scale, not in prototypes, but in a road-ready model, and perhaps that's where the most intriguing point lies. What seems odd today, a structure with a void in the middle, could become the new industry standard tomorrow. After all, if eliminating welds makes a car both cheaper and safer, the big question remains, why didn't anyone think of this before? When I compare traditional welding methods with what Tesla is doing with the Model 2, the difference is clear. For decades, the automotive industry relied on the idea that the more welds, the safer the car, a concept based on redundancy. But Tesla's engineers realized something counterintuitive. Many weak points don't make a vehicle safer. On the contrary, they can make it more vulnerable. And it was precisely this discovery that motivated the creation of a structure with only three joining points, but ultra-reinforced ones. Instead of relying on hundreds of fragile joints, the company opted for fewer yet extremely robust connections. This was also evident in the material selection. The aluminum used in the Model 2 isn't just any ordinary alloy. It's Tesla's own formula, with a tensile strength ranging from 140 to 175 MPa while the industry standard is between 90 and 120 MPa. In practice, this means a structure up to 40% stronger than what we see on the market today. This special alloy not only guarantees greater strength against shocks, pressure, and wear, but also offers high electrical conductivity, contributing to the vehicle's overall efficiency. But it's not just the material that makes a difference. The way the parts are joined is crucial. Tesla uses a structural bonding system with adhesives capable of withstanding up to 30 MPa of shear, the same as those used in commercial aviation. And when combined with ultra-strength bolts, the result is a bond that is often stronger than aluminum itself. In extreme situations, the metal part gives way before the joint breaks. It's as if the weakest link in the chain ceases to be the link and becomes the rest of the chain, a detail that many people don't even notice but which changes everything about this design, is the force distribution area. While a traditional weld concentrates the load in fillies just 2 millimeters wide, Tesla spreads that pressure across 2.7 square meters. That's over a thousand times greater in support area, completely changing how the car reacts to a crash. Instead of concentrating the impact in a tiny spot, the energy is spread out, preventing localized ruptures and reducing serious deformations. And the numbers prove it. The Model 2 achieved torsional rigidity of 35,000 newton meters per degree compared to 26,000 for the Model 3. In other words, the car twists less, even under intense forces. This extra rigidity protects the cabin, improves handling, and reinforces the feeling of solidity in everyday use. Interestingly, all of this was achieved without increasing weight. On the contrary, the new structure is lighter, more efficient, and even simpler to manufacture. In other words, there's no trade-off between performance and cost. Both sides benefit. Another point worth highlighting is modularity. With only three large structural blocks, maintenance becomes much more predictable and even simpler. In the event of a serious accident, for example, it's possible to replace one of these sections without disassembling the entire car. This drastically reduces repair costs and downtime. Furthermore, because the joints are designed to be durable and affordable, Tesla's specialized workshops can perform repairs with appropriate aluminum welding equipment, eliminating the need for time-consuming rebuilds. For the consumer, this means fewer after-sales headaches. Fewer weak points result in less corrective maintenance, fewer trips to the repair shop, and a much longer-lasting structure. 